Ultimately, a commission is a collaborative piece. Sometimes it can be really interesting to dive into someone else's life and work on something as personal as a painting. Painting people you've never met and places you've never been to. This commission was particularly interesting. Lyndon wanted me to make a painting of his grandparents and include the landscape in which they spent their lives, the Yorkshire Cliffs. He didn't want something traditional and classical as I expected. He was actually after something I didn't expect and something more abstract and expressive. Step one. First, we met in a cafe to discuss further what Lyndon was after. This is where I get to be submerged in the history and the stories of his life and of the people I will be painting. I brought mood boards of photos of art styles and having this visual material really helped me understand what Lyndon liked and what he didn't like and what he envisioned in our painting. I left with a collection of information and ideas and next came sorting through the mishmash of stuff and brainstorming ideas for a painting. Step two. I was very keen to start on the puzzle of how I was going to put together the different elements my client wanted. Here are some of the styles Lyndon liked, which I referred back to throughout this process. I had also done a couple quick sketches before our meetup to try and capture the likeness of his grandparents, which he was very fond of, so I made sure to keep some qualities from the sketches going forward. Because these photos were taken with an old camera, the quality looks very blown out with high contrast. But we both liked this effect. The lack of detail in faces and the faded quality seemed almost fitting for the tone we wanted to achieve. Colour was another important aspect and we wanted to include unexpected colours into the skin tones. The most challenging aspect was the importance of the scene and the environment Lyndon associates with his grandparents. The Yorkshire cliffs are grand and impressive and recognisable in shape. I didn't want to just put an image of the cliffs as a background to the portrait. Rather, my goal was to incorporate it into the portrait and make the scene part of the people in a way that seems natural and authentic. These are some of the ideas and concept sketches I had and shared with Lyndon. Sometimes it takes several sketches to reach the final concept, but this time the final idea came to me pretty early on and I ended up going with and expanding on one of the first sketches I did. Step 3. I did a couple more refined concept pieces of our favourite sketches and we again met up at a cafe. We both liked this sketch better and went forward with perfecting it before starting the actual painting. By the end of our session, we had a final concept sketch that was a lot more developed and finalised. I did let the idea sort of marinate in my mind for a while and I didn't come back to it for a week or so. This just helps me when I come back to see the concept with a fresh set of eyes and see if I'm still happy with it. I was. This is the final concept piece, and I'm really excited to get started. Step 4. I'm using MDF board. It looks like this. It's wood. I always use this. It's light, cheap, and very smooth. I'm going to get it cut to 420 by 320 millimeters, which is just a little over A3. Watch it fall instantly. I almost always sketch out the composition in acrylic paint and I try to cover the entire surface so that there's a barrier against the wood and the oil paint. This is the definition of trust the process. I'm always very frightened at this stage, always. Once the surface is all covered, I start with oil paints. As I'm painting, I pay attention to the high contrast qualities of the old photographs I'm using, with blown out shadows and less detail and strong lights and darks. I tend to get lost in detail and I get perfectionist. So this was a challenge to focus on the blocks and the large shapes. Sculpting the face this way is quite different to what I usually do. At this stage, Lyndon actually got to see the progress in person. There were some really strong foundations that we were happy with, but as you can see, there were a couple elements that were a bit off. I'm talking about the woman's face. It's creepy and looks dead inside. I mean, what is that? I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. So now I fixed up some issues and brought more contrast in by adding those lights. And I also added the stronger dark tones and I've established that depth and solid form, I think.
The background is the next big thing to tackle, and as I mentioned before, I have a plan to really bring the environment forward and really involve it as part of the piece and of the people, rather than just having the Yorkshire Cliffs sitting in the background. And to weave them with the people symbolically, I decided to use gold lines mimicking the shape of the cliffs and of the shoreline. I also thought this would bring an element of movement and line in an otherwise very static painting. I'm happy with how it turned out. And I hope you enjoyed the video as I took you through my creative process. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye. <laughs>